What up guys and gals? This is your boy here, Rockfit40 guys. The guys, this morning I am actually um replacing my uh coolant reservoir and um I just wanted to make a quick video guys just to show you guys um how easy it is to replace uh this reservoir. Um my reservoir was cracked it had a crack in it and i was losing um coolant but guys um i already took the the reservoir off and um i had to cut off one of these um bolts up top right here as you could see um i cut it off with a hacksaw uh what happened is that that particular bolt was stripped and um i was trying to like slacken it and it kept turning and turning and turning and it refused to come out so i cut it off guys i use a hacksaw blade um took like 10 minutes 5 10 minutes to cut it off but i've been trying to take get that bolt off since yesterday but guys it's basically is pretty much like three bolts that's holding this um that's securing this uh reservoir there's one to the bottom uh, somewhere right up there and then there's two to the top uh, which is this one and then uh, that one right there um, then you got the hoses you got you got a hose right there you got a small hose Little small line right here um, coming from the bottom and then as you know you got one right here one right there and then one right over there and this is your sensor um, this is my sensor clip right here so pretty much you just got to disconnect all that stuff guys and um and once you disconnect all that stuff it comes right out you know what i'm saying hopefully you don't have a um a stripped out boat like me and it's you know it's easy just to slacken the bolts and just pull it right off so this is how it looks right now i want to believe guys that um my fuel is mixing with my um with my um radiator fuel radi uh radio radiator um fuel guys I said guys radiator fuel my bad not radiator fuel guys using the wrong words this morning um antifreeze uh or coolant you guys out there want to uh, correct me on the wrong terms I'm using but this is the um, this is the new reservoir right here guys and actually I purchased this off Amazon guys I only paid hundred and twenty eight dollars for this right here and um, this buying this from the dealership they wanted about close to four hundred dollars for this at the dealership guys so you know what i'm saying this is identically the same the same as the old one guys the same you know what i'm saying um i don't see why those damn dealerships charge you all that money but anyway guys i'm gonna put this on so when you for before you order stuff on amazon you always want to make sure that it's exact same thing and look at the reviews and stuff like that guys that's that's important you know what i'm saying you don't want a lot of times when you order stuff off of amazon um amazon don't, they don't send the right thing um there's always something off something is missing uh a lot of times you order a lot of time i order stuff off of amazon and um it might look identically the same you know what I'm saying and but once you get it uh, certain things might be off 
uh, such as this right here. This is the um, this is your sensor right here, uh, for your low coolant sensor. Uh, once the water, once your coolant uh, get below this sensor right here, guys, your check engine light gonna come on, and um, the stop check engine light gonna it gonna start blinking, and the truck the truck gonna actually shut off, guys, and you won't be able to drive. So that's the problem I'm having because I had a, I had a leak. But uh, if you have a leak, guys, and it's, it's actually a coolant uh, a re a reservoir, um, make sure that you keep topping it up because you don't want your truck to overheat, guys, and you know mess anything up. I know sometimes um, we might be stuck somewhere and it's hard to to get to the shop, but you know stuff like this because mine's had a crack up top. So what I did, I patched up. I patched it up right up here uh, with Gorilla Glue, guys. And um, until I ordered this one, and I, I just did that like a temporary fix until this new uh, reservoir came. So, guys, I'm gonna put this on and I'm gonna show you guys how simple it is. Okay, guys. So I got it uh, I bolted up, guys. And um, as you can see, all my bolts at the side, there's two at the side, two on top, and just I just have to uh, connect my my uh, sensor right here, and um, I just add uh, some coolant to the system, and um, I have to flush the system anyway, um, and then I gotta change two hoses off the um, heater core uh, that's right above the tank that's that's leaking too, so I gotta do that. So, I mean, this is the only thing I got to do, guys. I got to connect this uh, hose, uh, the clamps on the bottom right there. I got to connect that. And pretty much that's it, guys. Uh, pretty simple and easy job, guys. Um, if you was to take this to the shop, not only you, you would have been sitting up for like a couple of days, um, especially Freightliner. So something like this you could do yourself, guys. And... Um, you know save yourself the time the money because you know you know if the wheels don't turn we don't earn guys so guys like the video man like the video share comment and anything i could do different um explain certain things different guys but it's all basic simple um simple job nothing too technical So guys, I already replaced my um, heater core hoses. As you can see, um, there's two lines right there. And if you look up top, there's two little outlets right there. And um, I have two pieces of hoses. They goes right up. They attach those lines right there. That's the, the heater core. Um, coming from inside the truck so I'm gonna show you guys the hoses I'm gonna replace the hoses as well I was just gonna do the heater core but I'm gonna replace the hoses um, the hoses might be old you know um, so that's why I probably gonna need to replace it uh, the heater core I don't know if it's actually coming from the heater core itself or the hoses but I'm gonna just go ahead and replace the heater core and the hoses just to be certain guys so I, I don't have to come back to this if it's still leaking so stay tuned so guys I'm gonna show you the old heater core I just pull out from inside inside um, inside the truck better known as the cab so that's it right there guys I'm a bit junky because I'm working inside a truck but this is all the stuff I removed to get it out as you can see uh, that's the new heater core inside there so kind of dark under here guys so I'm gonna just pull it out pull it back up 
and I'll show you guys. Cause there's a big, there's a big and small uh, line on this, and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, guys, that's what I'm talking about right here. Um, there's two different hole sizes. Uh, once you get to the bottom, so as you could see on the left. Um, that line is uh, smaller than the one on the right so you know you want to know you want to remember what side is what side um, because I think one is coming out and one is a one is an out port and one is an in port I want to believe so guys you know what I'm saying I'm, I'm not certain but I'm just going by the arrow and the size and just trying to put it back the same way I took it out um, which is uh, this way right here. Just gotta play with it guys to get it in, slide in that hole. So it's in. It's in right there. So now I'm gonna go from the bottom and put those holes on it on it from the bottom guys so I'm gonna show you guys how it's done so guys I'm cutting my hoses now to go back onto that heater core like I said uh, there's two different sizes uh, one is big the bigger one is on the right hand side and then the smaller one is on the left hand side so I'm just cutting it the right uh, length and we're going to put it back up and see guys, nip and tuck time. So guys, my two lines is on right there. I already put the two lines on. The two, let me two lines, the two hoses guys. Need to get the words, I need to get my words right this morning guys. But anyway, I'll give you guys from a different angle, you can see. That's the lines and that's the hoses on on to the lines. And if you look uh, where 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 I'm trying to find it for you guys. Okay, if you look right there. Uh, right there. The lights on you, buddy. So that's the way I'm going guys. That's the heater core, uh, inlet, outlet line, um, I guess. Um, so, I'm going to attach that, guys. And guys, don't forget to like the video, man, and um, uh, comment. And you know what I'm saying? Anything I could have do better if I'm doing something wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you're never too old to learn. You know what I'm saying? Life is about uh, learning and sharing and helping um helping other people guys you just can't be selfish with what you know you got to help you got to help people if you know something and they don't know it that's how we learn and we get become uh better people guys so help someone if you know something don't keep it to yourself you know what i'm saying that's how we how we gain um wisdom and knowledge guys is is is, is by knowing you know what i'm saying and understanding guys so anyway I ain't trying to preach, but guys, this is it here. This is the end of it. So all I gotta do is attach those um, hoses to them, to those two lines right there, guys, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? I I just gotta um, put the uh, antifreeze uh, coolant inside the uh, um, inside the overflow bottle right there. Top it up because if I don't, like I said, the truck um, the check engine light gonna be on because of that sensor right there. There's no um, antifreeze inside the uh, reservoir. So guys, rough fit 40, like, comment, and subscribe. Don't be a hater, man. Show me some love.